guess what time it is. It's hey. time for Puggles, <laughs> boys and girls. It's Miss Heather and Miss Christy, and hey, we girl. are so happy you're here today. Mm -hmm. Today, we are learning that we can thank God for His creation. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Creation is beautiful, and I hope yes, you've got is. to get outside to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Well, first, we're going to sing our Puggle song. We want to hear you sing. God loves me and you, Puggles. So what do we do, Puggles? We get together and learn God's Word. It's so great to be in God's family. So let's go, Puggles. There's so much to know, Puggles. And that's how we grow, Puggles. We get together and learn God's Word. Let's go! Hey, Puggle friends. Welcome back. I always love to hear you singing the Puggle song. Well, I think I saw Maya and Alice heading this way. On the count of three, can you help me call them out? One, two, three. Hey, Maya and Alice! Puggle friends! Yes! Hello, hello, hello! Um, Alice has been singing non-stop ever since we went to the concert in the park last night. Yes, I have all those love music! Oh, park concerts are always so much fun. People come from all around and they bring blankets to sit on. Yeah, we went with a big group of our neighbors. Everyone had a really good time, especially me. <laughs> All the singers were amazing. One little girl was the best singer I've ever heard. And there was a whole band playing real instruments. I wished it would have never ended. Oh, and when it was done, the whole crowd stood up to clap and cheer. I want to be a singer one day. I mean, I want to be a singer one day. Oh my, oh, you're already a singer, Alice. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> hmm, why did everybody clap and cheer at the end? Well, because it was so good. The musicians and the performance performers did an amazing job. I guess the clapping was like saying, wow, thanks for the good stuff. Mm -hmm. When we see something amazing, we should clap and cheer for the one that did it. Or at least say, that's amazing. Good job. Did anyone applaud at the park? What? No, that's silly. What did the park do? <laughs> it just kind of sat there and didn't say anything. You know, like a park. <laughs> well, how about for the one that made the grass that you sit on? Or the trees that wave their branches? Or the sky that turn colors in the sunset? Oh, I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. God made all those things. Oh, and we didn't clap for it at all. Oh, that's okay, Alice. But we should let God's creation remind us of him. And we should take time to thank him for all of it. Oh, you're right. I saw lots of God's creation at the park. The dandelions in the grass, the pigeons that flew by hoping for a snack, the yummy apple snacks we ate, the lightning bugs that came out after dark, and even the people that were there. Mm -hmm. Yep, God made it all. They all point to him. Oh, now I really understand our verse. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a great idea. Let's all sing a great big thanks to God. Ready? All right, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, we can thank God by singing or by praying. That's great. We can thank him for creating us and all of the amazing things in our world. Now, why don't you two sing your way back home? See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Wasn't that so much fun? God's creation is amazing, isn't it? Now, we're going to have a little bit of review. We're going to do Puggles Big Verses number two and our latest verse, Big Verse number four. Let's get up on your feet. worthy of praise great is the Lord and most worthy of praise great is the Lord and most worthy of praise great is the Lord and most worthy of praise Psalm 48 verse 1 Psalm 48 verse 1 says, Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. Now it's time for Buggles Big First Number. Welcome back, Puggle friends. We need to give thanks to the Lord for He is good, isn't He? Now, I don't know if you can see on my card, can you see this little girl sitting outside? She is looking at all the things that God made. You know, God is our great creator who made us and loves us. And we can see that when we look at his awesome creation. So today we are learning that we can thank God for his creation. Now in our Bible story today, we are going to look back and I don't know if you remember last time we learned about a man named Saul. And remember Saul was bad. He did some bad things, but then he knew God. God wanted to get to know him. And you know what? He was good. And this week we are learning that he was so excited about his new life with Jesus as his savior. God even changed his name to Paul to show him that he was following Jesus. You know, one of the places that Paul went was a town called Lystra. There he met a man, man who couldn't walk. And you know what? He healed him. God healed him. Everyone thought that Paul and his friend Barnabas were great because they healed the man. But Paul told them that, you know, it wasn't him. It was God who did it. He said that the only, only the God who created our world deserved to be worshipped as great. That's true. We are going to read more about it in this special book. You know what it is, right, guys? Yep, it's the Bible, God's holy word. And it's the book of Acts. Let's find it. It's Acts chapter 14, verse 15. Friends, why are you doing this? We too are only human like you. We are bringing you good news, telling you to turn 
from these worthless things to the living God who made the heavens and the earth and the sea and everything in them. Isn't that amazing? So the Bible tells us that God made everything. Of course, you guys know that, don't you? When we look at creation, all of it reminds us of God. We can thank and worship God for making everything. The people that Paul and Barnabas met needed to praise and thank God for his creation. And, you know, they would only be happy when they got to know and love God. God created everything. everything. Good job. And we can thank God for all of his creation. Now it's time to see what's in our special bag today, Miss Heather. Ooh. What do we oh, have? Oh, I see some beautiful flowers. <gasps> wow. God so, made the flowers. Yep. God made a lot of beautiful and helpful things that grow just like those flowers. Isn't that awesome? Let's see if there's something else of God's creation Ooh. in here. Oh my goodness. I see animals. Can you guys name some of these animals? I don't know if you can see them closely. Yup. This one says, nay. <laughs> no horsey. Yup. We have a panda. Mm -hmm. What's this? Oh, that was my horsey. This one <laughs> looks similar, but it's a cow. What do cows say? Yes, cows say moo. Good, Good job. job. And who made the animals? God. Good job, guys. All right. Let's see what else is in our special Ooh. bag. <laughs> These are people. These represent people. And God made People, God made you, and God made Miss Heather and I, didn't he? We are all of his creation. When we see all of these fun things, amazing things that God made, we are full of thankfulness for him, aren't we? All right, now it's time for us to fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's thank God for all of his creation. God, we are so thankful for creating us and all the things in the universe. Lord, you are so good to us. I'm so thankful for all of our Puggle friends. I just pray that you would continue to watch over, protect them, keep them safe, and keep them healthy. We ask all of these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys, now let's get on your feet. We're singing a fun, fun song today. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. Let's do it. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. Yeah. 
is a lie. He is, and I'm so <laughs> thankful for that. Well, boys and girls, we've had so much fun with mm -hmm. you here today. Always remember to thank God for his beautiful creation when mm -hmm. you're outside playing in the yard, when you're riding your bike, when you're swinging on the swing. Just take a look around and just thank God for his amazing creation. Well, we hope you have a wonderful week. Mm -hmm. And don't forget that Jesus loves you, and so do we. Bye, boys and girls. Bye.